Okay, Elizabeth, let's go and take a look. Let's go ahead and pop that open so we can see it. There we go. Excellent. Fits right in the window. Perfect. Excellent. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, I think it's 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 pretty effective. It's a good start. I think there's a couple of things that we can do to really make it uh, a little bit more harmonious. Now, I don't see the magazine ad. I had requested students submit the magazine ad along with the banner ad so that we can make comments on the adaptation from the um, magazine ad to the banner ad. But I, I see that the, banner, the magazine ad hasn't been submitted, so unfortunately I won't be able to make comments on adaptation. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the, the actual structure. So you've got Mother's Day special. You've got your headline is animated, and it shouldn't be. The only thing that should be animated is the call to action. I also would not include this visit our website. People know that if you click on a banner, it's going to take you to the website. So that's kind of redundant, and I don't think it's necessary. So what I'm going to recommend we do is this. Is let's, let's take Mother's Day special. And then let's take deluxe package free children included. All right, increase that size a little bit, place it left alignment right here, and, and then add your animation just to that. Okay, then you're going to remove that. Um, so just deluxe spa package is the only thing that animates. And when you animate it, don't let it disappear. So, so fade it in, let it stay in, and fade it out, not all the way to disappear, just so it's just semi-transparent, and then fade it back in and repeat that. You don't want it to be not visible at any period of time because depending on when the viewer looks at the ad, they might miss some information. Like right now, there's no information there. If the viewer looks at the ad at that point, they're going to miss pertinent information. So you don't ever want that type to be completely um, invisible. Okay, so again, in summary there, so you just, you're just you know, I, I would even reduce the size. I think the Mother's Day special is a little too large. Um, I would also, I would set this, I, we don't need emphasis on special. Um, I think it adds too much visual weight right there. So let's just go ahead and reduce that from all caps to just a regular um, title case where the first letter is is, is uh, capitalized, like you have here. Just set that up uh, identical. Mother's Day special, reduce the size a little bit, left aligned deluxe spa package, animate that in slowly and then fade out, fade in and fade out. Okay, then you've got your logo. Logo looks like it's been a little bit distorted and we can go ahead and check that with the original. And if we check the original, we can certainly see that the shape is different, which means that this has been distorted. Take a look at the difference in the shape here and here. So that's been distorted. And that's, that has happened when you resize it. So when you place the logo and you select the logo to resize it, don't forget you have to hold your shift key down. So you place the logo, you select it, you grab that little corner with your mouse, and you stretch it to, to, to increase the size. Hold your shift key down. That'll constrain the original proportions. Finally, the address area, you don't need the whole contact information here. This stuff was all covered in the announcement. So I'm, I'd say at this point, it's really important to say just really keep up on those announcements. They tell you exactly what to do and how to do it. So um, uh, you don't have to include the uh, address, just the location. So even right up here, you could just say U.S. Virgin Islands or something, you know, somewhere, maybe even right here, U.S. Virgin Islands. And I would set that in the same purple type here. That'll draw a connection between the two sides and make it less look like it it's, could possibly be two different ads. So U.S. Virgin Islands right there. And then, um, yeah, and, and, and go ahead and make those changes. I think it'll really help quite a bit. Now, if, I'd like to see those changes reflected in your final submission. So that's coming up next week. So we have to start moving quickly here. If you would like to run this by me beforehand, that's great. I'll be glad to make final comments. But uh, otherwise, I'd like to see these, these changes reflected in your final submission during week seven. Okay, uh, Elizabeth, any questions at all? Please let me know. Um, let me know quickly too, because we got to start, uh, you know, it's already Friday here. So I'm going to work on it over the weekend and this is due next week. So let me know if you have any questions. All right, Elizabeth, good job. Great start. Any questions at all, please get with me. Thank you very much.